Charlotte's Web Adapted by Jennifer Franz Illustrated by Alexei and Olga Ivanov Based on the motions picture Screenplay by Susanna Grant and Carrie Kirkpatrick Based on the book by E.B. White It was the first day of the county fair. Everyone at Zuckerman's farm was busy getting ready. Ties were tied, pies were packed, jams were jarred. And Wilbur the pig was bathed in buttermilk. He would need to look his best if he was going to win the blue ribbon at the fair. Wilbur's friends in the barn knew winning the blue ribbon was important. It was Wilbur's chance to show how special he was. Then the Zuckermans would keep him on the farm forever. Charlotte was planning to weave a very special web at the fair. She had to find the perfect word to describe Wilbur. Charlotte convinced Templeton to come along and help. Finding trash was his specialty, and old wrappers and boxes were full of words. The friends arrived at the fair. It was unlike any place they had ever been. Colorful tents crowded the grounds. Sweet smells drifted through the air, and a giant wheel spun in the sky. Wilbur settled into his pen. In the stall next door was the biggest pig Charlotte had ever seen. His name was Uncle. Charlotte knew that Uncle would be hard to beat. Wilbur was nervous, but Charlotte calmed his fears. The finest pig is not always the fattest pig, she said. Then Charlotte told Templeton to go out and find a good word. Fast! The fairground was littered with trash and bits of food. It was Templeton's dream come true. But he had a job to do. Templeton spotted a newspaper. But others spotted Templeton too. Two feisty crows were watching and they loved to chase Templeton. Templeton had to think fast. Yoo-hoo! Templeton called. The crows dove after Templeton, but were quickly tangled up. Templeton scurried to the pig pen and gave Charlotte a scrap of paper that was full of words. Charlotte looked at the paper and grew quiet. Then her eyes lit up. She had found the perfect word. Charlotte worked on the webs for hours. When she finished, Wilbur looked up and saw the word humble. But I don't think I deserve it, Wilbur said. Charlotte smiled at her friend. Then it is perfect, she said. The next morning, the judges would decide which pig was the best in the fair. But Wilbur no longer cared if he won the blue ribbon. Wilbur already had the best prize of all, the very best friends any pig could imagine. and no word could ever describe just how lucky Wilbur felt. The End